Hey, what's up guys? TK here. This is part 2 of VPC network. If you haven't watched my first part, please click on the above link. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button along with bell icon so that you don't miss awesome cloud content. So in this video, I'm going to explore the default VPC network. Um, we are going to create an auto mode network with firewall rules. Create VM instances using Compute Engine and we're going to see um, how removing the firewalls or manipulating the firewalls will affect your Compute engines communication between them. So right now I have logged into my console. So let's go to the default VPC network. You either can go from here from the search or um, you can select here. So I have bookmarked it as a favorite. So the each subnet is associated with the GCP region and a private RFC 1918 CIDR block. When I click on the route, so before we understand the route, so routes tell VM instances and the VPC network how to send traffic from an instance to a destination, either inside the network or outside of GCP. So each VM network comes with some default routes to route traffic among the subnets and send traffic from eligible instances to the internet. And there is one route uh, which is uh, to the default internet gateway. When I go to firewall rules, one of the most important thing that you have to remember is that every VPC network has two implied firewall rules that block all incoming connections and allow all outgoing connections. What are those implied rules? So if you see their documentation, so the implied rules allow egress rule, uh, which is an implied allow egress rule. That means that it allows the traffic going out from your GCP network. So that's egress. So if you don't know about e egress and ingress, it's a, it's a very basic term, which means that any traffic that is coming into the GCP is ingress. Any traffic that's leaving out of your network is egress. So by default, these two rules are always part of your network. So you cannot delete them. One good thing though is that, you know, these rules have the lowest priority. So the priority is 65535, as you can see here. And uh, implied deny ingress rule, this this is like you know it denies all the incoming traffic and basically it's allowing all the outgoing traffic so these are implied rules and, and this has the lowest priority you can override those by uh, setting a higher priority number for example if you see here these four are the default rules which are part of my auto network and they have a priority of 65534 so that's going to override uh, for instance, ingress and uh, you know the if default ingress rule has 65535 and we are going to override with 65534 which means that you know this will take more precedence over that. So there are four ingress firewall rules for the default network. Default allow ICMP, um, ICMP and RDP and SSH are ingress traffic from anywhere which is like from 00 uh, slash 0. And all TCP, UDP and ICMP traffic within the network as you can see here it's within the network so now let's delete the default network so click let's click all uh, click on all the firewall rules and delete them it's going to take a while i'm going to pause this video all right so i have deleted all the firewall rules I'm going to go back to my VPC networks and click on the default network. So I'm going to do delete VPC network. Okay, right now you can see that in my VPC networks, I don't have any network. I have deleted the default network. And if I go to the firewall rules, no firewall rules. And when I click on the routes, so there are no routes as well. So when you don't have any network, obviously you'll not have any routes here. Now let's try to create a VM instance and see whether we can create it or not. Instance 1 and create. As you can see, I got an error. This is because the reference subnetwork resource cannot be found. As the VM, you know, if you remember that a VM is part of a zonal resource, right? And if uh, a zone 
obviously will be part of a region when we're trying to create a vm so it's trying to use the subnetwork or, or the subnet part of the network and since it couldn't find the subnet it errored out i'm just trying to demonstrate that how without networking you cannot create resources so now let's go and create our own network Going back to the VPC, create VPC network. So after wasting my time on my previous project where the create VPC network button wasn't working, um, I had to create a new project. As you can see, I created a new project. Um, I have deleted my default network in the new project. And this button is working now. So after you click on that button to create the new network, so we go, we are going to create an auto network. Uh, I'll, I'll give it as my network leave the description by default and click on automatic so I was mentioning before in auto network there will be one subnet created for each region as you can see for US Central 1 there is one subnet Europe West 1 there is a subnet so likewise you know there is subnet for every region and the most important thing like I was stressing in, in the start of this video is that you know the two default implied rules uh, which are applied as part of uh, you know auto network or manual network so you cannot delete these rules so these are implied rules which are you know by default applied you can only override those rules by uh, setting priority below than this so you can select these four rules icmp internal rdp and ssh and now you know you can do ssh to your instances Click on create. So it is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause this video. All right, guys, so we have our new network now, which is my network, and we can see all the subnets. Uh, we can see the firewall rules that we have applied. The routes are there, so we are set with this. So now let's create a new uh, compute engine in each region. Uh, maybe let's select US Central 1 and uh, Europe West 1. Let's create one instance in each region and try to see the connectivity and try to play around with the firewall rules. All right, so I'm going to compute engine. Create. VM US Central. I'll just call it as VM US one so we are creating that in uh, one year zone which is part of central one region all right if you see here uh, the networking it is using my network and it's going to use the subnet in us central region so let's click on create. So let's also create one more instance in Europe region this time. So I'm going to select maybe Europe North 1, Finland. VM EU 1. And obviously, it will also use the same network, my network. All right, so we have two instances. So as you can see here, uh, it got its own external IP. Each instance got their external IPs and also an internal IP. Let's go back to the network. VPC networks. So we have selected one in uh, Europe North zone. So if you see Europe North, which is Europe North. And if you click on this one, and the IP address range is 10.166.0.0. And as as you know, you know, there is the first IP address is taken for the gateway. 
and that's why you see the second internal IP address. So 10.166.0.2 is internal IP and 10.166.0.1 is uh, taken for the gateway. The same is for US Central 1A2. As you can see here for US Central 1, um, 10.128.0.1 is for gateway and 10.128.0.2 is the internal IP of this instance since this is the first instance that we are creating in that subnet. All right, so we have one instance in Europe and one instance in US. So let's try to connect to both instances. Okay, so I have a instance of uh, Europe on the left side and uh, US on the right side. As we know, uh, we have the IP address of these two instances, the internal IPs and the external IPs. So what we're going to do is we're going to ping the external IP of a US instance from Europe. Okay, so ping. We are able to ping from Europe to US. So the same should work from US to Europe as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delete the firewall rule of ICMP. So VPC networks, firewall rules. And let's try and delete this ICMP. Okay, as you can see, uh, the firewall rule is deleted. Right, so we don't have um, ICMP here. Let's go back to uh, the Europe instance and try pinging US instance, which is on the right side. Now you can see that it is timing out. So basically, you know, we have disabled the ingress um, ping ICMP. So we cannot ping, you know, instances without that firewall rule, right? So this is a small demonstration to show you all um, how firewall rules behave and, uh, you know, uh, across the network. So one thing which I would like to show you is when you click on let's say this SSH firewall rule and click on edit. So the targets that we have mentioned here or uh, the default firewall rule that's been created has all instances in the network. So you can either select this option or select specified target tags. So when you do this, you have to give a tag and tag those instances that this firewall rule will be applied. So either you can select all instances in the network or you can also choose the firewall rule and specifically tag the, those specific instances, so which we are not going to do right now. And uh, when we do all instances, you can see that all the instances that are created as part of this network um, have the firewall rule and uh, the firewall rule is applicable for these two instances that we have created right now. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, this is part two of uh, VPC and this should cover the basics of GCP's uh, VPC network and uh, hopefully I will uh, come up with one more video on how to use custom networks so that should be more than enough for the associate exam. So thanks for watching please do let me know if you have any questions or doubts in the comment section. Thanks bye.